Hello and welcome to the 2020 Census. My name is Cassie and I'm a reference librarian at Westerly Library in Wilcox Park. And in this video, I will introduce you to the census and show you how you can easily access and complete it online. The number of questions are gonna vary depending on how many people live in your house, but it shouldn't take much longer than 10 minutes to complete. The 2020 Census is a count of every person living in the United States and it is required by the US Constitution. Your responses are very important as this data is only taken once every 10 years and it can directly affect you and your community for the coming decade. For example, your response helps determine the number of seats each state has in Congress. Rhode Island currently holds two, but an undercount from the census could potentially cause us to lose one of those seats. Federal funding is also parceled out partially based on census count, and this helps fund vital programs such as Medicaid, Head Start, and even libraries. So to begin, visit my2020census.gov on your computer, tablet, or mobile device. Of course, if you prefer, you can always respond via mail or even phone by calling 844-330-2020. You will then be prompted to enter a 12-character census ID, which includes both letters and numbers. This should have been mailed to you by the U.S. Census Bureau sometime in the last few weeks. If you do not have your ID or you've misplaced it, you can still complete the census online. Simply click on the link underneath the login button, which reads, if you do not have a census ID, click here. You will be asked to provide your address instead. The census site will have you answer one question at a time. When you've completed the question, click on the next button for the next question. Or if you want to go back, click on the previous button. If you have not fully answered a question, you will not be able to progress. Try to avoid clicking on the forward or back buttons on your browser window, as your responses could be lost if you do this and you may need to start from the beginning. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the census questionnaire is really brief and should only take you about five to 10 minutes. There are nine questions for the person filling out the form and up to seven questions for each additional household resident. Questions include information about the age, sex, and race of each resident. There are absolutely no citizenship questions on the census, and all of your answers are strictly confidential. Once you've completed all the questions, you'll be prompted to submit the questionnaire. If you don't click on submit, your answers won't be counted, so please make sure you do this. And now you're done. You'll be given a confirmation number, which is in blue, and you should probably save this for your records. If you do have access to a printer, you can also print out this entire page. And that is how you fill out the 2020 Census online. If you have specific questions, please visit 2020census.gov. Thank you for taking time to watch this video and also for completing your census.